Hey, what's up guys? It is Lime from Variety Gaming 101 bringing you a very, very special video. So, I wanted to discuss some, have some real talk today. And first of all, I wanted to uh, apologize in advance if my stutter gets the best of me or if I don't make my point clear. But I want to try to get this point across, so, because this is important to me. Um, I, this video might not even get that many views. Who knows if it's going to get feedback. But I'm, for the people that do watch this, I want you to hear me out here. Um, I promote CSGO gambling. I promote gambling in general, and I know that. And it's not a good thing. So, I was having, um, I added a CSGO YouTuber I found today that was making some comedy type CSGO videos. His name is Bose CSGO, and I'm going to link to his channel. I, I, he doesn't have a lot of followers, but I want to help him. And he, uh, he opened my eyes a little bit more on the subject. And I wanted to talk about it because I told him I would make it. So I owe it not only to him, not only to you guys, but also myself because I am promoting this. So, um, I apologize if I'm looking out the distance, just looking out the window trying to gather my thoughts here. So, uh, I used to make, I, I don't know if you guys probably know this from me talking about an old videos, but I used to talk about my old channel, how it, well, I didn't really do that great, right? Where I had like, at the, at the time it was closed, I had about 300 subs. Only had a few thousand views on, like at best, in most of my videos, and look where I am now, right? But that is because of the whole gambling thing. If I hadn't made that first video talking about CSGO skins on that, I probably would not be where I am now. And I don't get me wrong, I'm grateful I'm here, but I still, I kind of, in a way, regret doing it the way I did. The reason I'm talking about this is he had brought up to me how uh, CSGO gambling is not only promoting children to get into gambling, which I do not approve of. I've never recommended kids to get into this, and I, I in no way approve of that, but I'm, I can't stop them. And also, uh, promoting gambling addictions in general. I and mean, gambling does destroy families and people's lives. It, it's, it's how it works. It's, it's addicting. It's how it is, right? Uh, so, I was thinking more about it and discussing with him, and I wanted to just be open with you guys and tell you some things, right? So I do, of course, I, I promote Cisco Gambling not only to make money off of affiliate links, like I, I do, I'll be honest, I make some money off of it for some pocket change, right? It's not a ton, but it's something, and I like that, you know, money makes the world go round, it's just how the world works. But I also do it because it's what gets me the most feedback. I like doing YouTube, I love doing YouTube, but part of the reason I only, I mainly stick to that is I, I other content I've made literally what's the point of making it if no one's watching right that's the way I see it maybe I'm not I don't have the right mindset on that but I, I put effort into a video like some of my other videos which I most of most of you have probably not seen um it, I, I go back and look at them and I put I put some editing into it I, I put some work into it I really did some research on some of the stuff and it's like no one really saw it I never got any comments whatever right it doesn't it doesn't feel as worth it I guess so, back to the topic of the gambling, uh, I want to let you guys know that, uh, like, I want everyone to know, everyone really knows this, but there's some stigma around it, uh, gambling can be a serious problem. I will admit, I had a serious problem for a long time, but I, uh, I didn't reach out, I reached out to somebody for help, and I used to, I used to go nuts with the gambling, like, more than I should have ever, and I don't like to admit it because it's embarrassing. But it's, it's best, like, you know, the first step to getting better is admitting it. And it sounds like I'm at an Alcoholics Anonymous uh, meeting right now, but it's the truth, you know. Uh, there was one night where, that was pretty much the last night that I wanted to make a difference. I had spent about $300 in skins or more uh, just going nuts on uh, cases on CSGO Big, and it was not worth it. That was pretty much the breaking point for me, and I had decided that, you know what, I need to fix this. This is a serious, serious issue. It's not only ruining my life but it's affecting people around me so I yeah I still make videos here and there but I try to limit it and I only really do the gambling while I'm recording just so I can you know have content for you guys I don't ever do it really by myself anymore because you know it's it's an issue it really is so what I'm suggesting is if you guys like if any of you that are underage watch my video please please do not gamble like I of course I can't stop you it's really up to you in the end but whether you like it or not, growing up, your brain is still developing and you're still figuring out who you are. And it's very easy to get hooked at that young age and it will affect your life later. I mean, I've, I, I was gambling at like 18 years old is when I started, uh, but it still affected me. Like, it's, it's even worse as a kid though, so I'm telling you now, that if you want to hear me, if you want to take my advice, that is it. And if you do struggle with an addiction to gambling, uh, 
I, you should really get help. I know it's really embarrassing and some people might look down at you or make fun of you, but it is an issue. It really is. And it, it will destroy your life if you don't be careful. I feel like it could have destroyed my life, but I, I took the steps to get better and it is an issue. Like it really is. Another thing I wanted to talk about is I want to make other kinds of content like I had mentioned before and I, I want to make more content. I mean I'm a retro game collector, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, I, uh, I want to open a business one day and I want to make videos about that but at the same time it's like I kind of lack motivation because the, the lack of feedback and I, I know you guys know this, I'm really bad with series. If, it, if, if anything contains in episode 2 or even worse episode 3 I'm usually not there. So. It's just how I am. I want to find new content to make, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I get a little bit of pocket change with the gambling, and I get also uh, more feedback, which motivates me to make more videos, but at the same time, it's like, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. So I'm really, I'm just kind of between a rock and a hard place here for what to do, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to try to make more other kinds of videos. I hope you guys will, you know, check it out and enjoy it, but in the end, that's really up to you. Um... Yeah, and I want to broaden the horizons, I guess, because it's good to do more than that. If I just stick to gambling, it, it, I'm just promoting awful things in the end, really. Uh, when I talked to that guy, Bo Cisco, I think that's how you pronounce it. I really hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, he was telling me that he despises gambling because someone... I, maybe I shouldn't say this, but he said someone in his life, uh, he, it really affected him, and he, it affected him in the end, and that's what kind of opened the eyes, my eyes, because it, I could affect more people if I kept doing this, right? And I, don't get me wrong, I feel bad for doing this. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm having fun blowing money and skins on uh, uh, websites and losing money and showing you guys, but I just, there's a there's a piece inside me that says, you know, so, somewhere out there, there's some kid that, or even some young age guy or whatever that watched my video and went and ruined his life because of me, and that gets to me, you know? I try to be a genuine person, but in the end, it's like, I'm still doing this. So... Yeah, it's like, there's, there's pros and cons, right? I want to I wanna make things right, but at the same time, I still want to continue to do what I do. Maybe that's not the right idea, but just please, guys, make sure you're in control of what you're doing. Uh, compulsive gambling is a very bad thing, as I've said throughout the video. But I want to start to do more things along with, maybe I'll, maybe one, one day I'll cut it out the gambling completely, who knows, but... I'm going to try to broaden my horizon, but I would like your feedback. If, you got, if anyone really stuck to the video this far, I don't know if you did... Uh, I would love to hear what you think. I don't usually get comments in these kinds of videos, but I would love to see what you guys think of this, right? And um, one more thing I wanted to mention is, to those people who say Cisco skins don't, like I know someone's going to watch this and someone's going to be thinking, oh, Cisco skins aren't real money, they're just virtual items, who cares? Whether you like it or not, it's like a cryptocurrency, it's like Bitcoin, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it is worth real money. You can, there's many sites that you can sell CSGO skins for cash within seconds. I showed a video about that yesterday, skins.cash. You, you get money in 15 seconds and it's not, a, not, if you have valuable skins that you've won or bought, it's not a lot, it's not a little amount of money, it's a lot of money. So, in, in the equivalence, it is real money and this is real, a real thing and it's real gambling and it's even worse in some ways because it's not, uh, like, you, no kid is going to walk into a casino and start playing slot machines. It doesn't work that way in most cases. But with this, there's nothing really stopping them. Hey, Dad, can I borrow your credit card? Hey, Mom, can I have some money? I'm going to go buy, just buy a game. They could say that. And then they could, before they know it, you know, they're on the level of spending all their money on, and their parents' money too, possibly. I've heard of cases like that. I have a friend who actually was, I'm not going to mention his name, but he was actually in an interview on a website about, uh, underage gambling and I feel like I helped promote that because he was an active player on my old website so it doesn't make me feel good I mean I run a website for fun and I don't I don't want to make a bunch of money off because that's what I'm there for I just like the fact that I get to run a community I love doing that I love that's why I love running game servers and being a leader of groups because I, I like leading but at the same time I got to do the right thing you know and I felt like I contributed to that a lot so uh, so yeah, if you're uh, if the guy who, you know who I'm talking about, if you're watching this, I uh, hope you saw this, because, yeah, anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah, like, I don't, uh, I, I just lost my train of thought, I apologize, but I hope you guys get the idea of this video. Like, I really, it, it bothers me, I don't, I don't like, like, I like gambling, I like making the videos, but at the same time, it's not good, and it, I don't feel good promoting, oh yeah, that's what I was saying, um, no kid is going to walk into the, the casino and, you know, start playing, but, you know, if he's, if he's, he, it's easy for kids to lie, you know, most parents trust their kids to an extent, 
and they could say, I want to buy a game, goes and buys skins and starts gambling and gets hooked and before he knows it, his whole life could be ruined in a matter of time. Like, not instantly, but it could affect him for years to come. Who knows? There's uh, different scenarios for everything, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I, I hope this talk really meant something to you. I feel like I did really good at the the uh, the non-stuttering. I feel like I got my point across pretty well. I hope you guys uh, feel the same way. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really really appreciate it if you guys watch this, and I hope this meant something to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't know what to say, but I really hope this this helped because it's not gambling is a bad thing. I yeah I promote it. Doesn't mean I you know, doesn't mean it's a good thing, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to try to make more content, but there will still be gambling videos, but just keep in mind, please, be careful. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.